This week on the RC Shop, we start painting the Highway 1 crawler and we get an update on the Frank Special. The cab is back from the body shop and the guys did a great job cleaning up all the imperfections. I had the guys bring the body back to me so I can reinstall the hinges. A few of you out there have ordered the hinges from the online store, so I want to make sure and show you how to install them properly. Of course, first start by cutting out the hood. Then I use tape to hold the hood back in place. With the hood taped in place, it'll be much easier to attach the hinges. Before installing, assemble with the hardware, if they're not already, and make sure the screw head is towards the inside so it will be accessible in the future. Glue in place and let dry. Check to make sure the hinges function properly. Not too difficult. Just make sure to orient the hinges and the bolts the correct way and you should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and remove the hood and give the cab one more sanding with 1500 grit sandpaper and it should be ready to paint. Speaking of paint, let's take a look at what we're using. We'll start with a base coat of House of Colors Fine Orion Silver. Then we'll top it off with their Wild Cherry Candy. This is for Highway 1, so I'm going to spray this myself, and then I'll have the body shop do the sanding in between coats. Let's get started. First coat done. I found a few imperfections the body shop missed, so I'll take care of those, and then I'll start building up layers of paint. We're running short on time this week, so I'm gonna just concentrate on the hood for you guys. Now between coats, I'm having the body shop sand with 2500 grit paper and still fixing up any imperfections we're finding. All right, now let's start adding coats of that wild cherry candy. Here's how it should look after a between coat sanding. You can't get a better finish than with a quality automotive paint, but fair warning, this paint job is gonna take days 
and it has its cost too. There's probably close to $200 in materials just in this paint job. So keep that in mind. Now let's get back to it. Now that I have a good base of candy, I wanna add some graphics. And to be honest guys, I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. So keep your fingers crossed. I use the body to help align the stripes. Let's try a first coat of candy over top of those graphics. Not sure what this is gonna do, but there's only one way to find out. Not bad, I guess. With a few more coats, I think we'll get the effect I want. I'll take it back over to the garage and we'll keep working on this. But before we run out of time, I wanna head over and see what Frank's up to, right after this commercial break. If you'd like to support the Tandem C Television channel, please head over to tandemctelevision.weebly.com. Any support helps keep this channel alive. Welcome back, guys. So Frank's been working on the body for the Frank special. If you remember right, the files were way oversized and they were labeled in German. So it's been quite a... What was that? All right, let me unbury Frank and we'll take a look at what we've got done. What you're looking at here is many hours of printing. I'm talking around 30 hours, and this is about a third of the print needed. Google Translate has become my best friend as I try and label each piece. The print quality is turning out pretty decent though. I'm still not sure if I've scaled this down to the right size. Show him a fender, Frank. Frank, what are you doing? That's all the time we have this week, guys. I'm gonna go have Frank's stomach pumped. You guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. See you next time, bye-bye.